Our camera's on one man. On the back of a hat-trick, will he continue to excel? The action is live on EA TV. And hello from one of the new venues in English football, the Amex Stadium on the South Coast. My name is Derek Ray, and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And we've got Premier League action coming right up. It's Brighton facing Manchester City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Number 13, Pascal Gross. Number 7, Sonny March. And number 10, Alexis McAllister. Good luck. And a look at the lineup for Brighton. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson gets the nod in goal. Nathan Ake plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. Ilkay Gundogan plays alongside Kevin De Bruyne in the centre of the park. And leading the line today is Erling Haaland. Laporte. Gundogan. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Will it be? No way through. Denied once more. Well, not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch. But what should we expect from him today, Stuart? Well, he's a player for. Oh, of the chance is on, Stuart. Can they cover up? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Adam Webster. Well, they've started the game really brightly here, and they've looked dangerous. But that was a top-class save from the keeper. Brilliant from him. And keeping the ball out of their own net can lift confidence throughout the side. The high press was very much on. Real chance. Oh, good work by the keeper. So the corner played into the box. Can he put it away? Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Manchester City were winners in the last game against Leicester City. How do you anticipate it going this time, Stuart? Well, in a very tight game, they certainly deserve their victory. Today will follow a similar pattern, and I expect them to win by the odd goal. And coming up for Brighton. McAllister. Well, I don't think that effort remotely qualifies as respectable. And the reason it's off target, because the technique was really poor on that occasion. That's not a good effort. And given away. Goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Rodri. Foden. The ball with Rodri. And space for them here on the flank. Into the centre from Walker. And he's got to clear his lines. A City free kick forthcoming. to the advanced position Ruben Dias Walker Foden and space for him to cut in element of risk there but he's won the ball now counter attacking possibilities here this looks promising out wide an example of a counter-attack that went nowhere. Can they forge 
charge ahead. Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Well, it still could be dangerous. Just couldn't get it through. Just the clearance that was called for. A chance now with the corner. Well, this is a big moment, and don't these fans know it? Oh, and he didn't miss by very much. Yeah, he adjusted his body so well there. It's a great piece of skill, and it probably deserved a goal. Well, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. An unforced error, you've got to say. The supporters want to see him have a go. Oh, dealt with by the goalkeeper. Now sending it in. Gross. It might still be problematic. Gross. Then pulls a block by Walker. It's wholehearted defending and the concession of a corner here. Well, he failed to get it away properly. Sunk. A routine save. Walker. De Bruyne now. Foden. A bit wasteful from City. De Bruyne playing with purpose. Might take the lead. Just cleared away in the nick of time. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The first half action is over here on the south coast. Well, part of the story here... Away they go again. Second half is underway here. Possession seeded by Brighton. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? And in with a real chance. to score and he does well as you can see the defending is really poor but he won't mind it's a simple finish for him and so the game back in business City ahead here Well read to ease the pressure. Joel Feldman. And the ball back with City now. Well, this is certainly the home of live football, EA TV. And looking forward to bringing you more action from the Premier League. It's Brighton and Hove Albion facing Southampton. City pushing forward with options available. Well, not a great cross, making the goalkeeper's job rather easy. Gundogan. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. They're not giving their opponents any time to breathe. Let's get the latest on the injury situation from our pitch side man, Jeff Shreves. I've got to say, he landed really heavily on his shoulder there and looks like he's in severe pain. But he looks less concerned than the bench, who are worried about him. I think he'll stay on. Cheers, Jeff. Beautifully weighted ball. Well, it looked like a decent avenue of attack, but he couldn't keep himself on side. Well, he's just a bit too eager there. All well and good playing on the shoulder, but he just needs to bend his run to stay on side. 
Well, there you can see City haven't been able to control possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Oh, surely! And that's sound goalkeeping. Playing it in. Well, a struggle to get it away properly. Oh, great attacking play. And a poor ball and easy for the keeper. Just a reminder, we have more absorbing action from the Premier League coming your way here on EA TV. It's Manchester City facing Arsenal. Well, the fixtures are coming thick and fast. It should be a good game, that. Hopefully, I've not just given it the commentator's curse. He's in with a chance. Oh, keeper dealt with it. And they will make the change now. They take it short. Kaoru Mitoma racing forward trying to catch them out oh breezing past him could be oh a great chance it was goalkeeper has it good work to win the ball back high up the pitch Well, doesn't have to do it on his own but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending Kaoru Mitoma excellent assessment of the situation at the back and under pressure that was a fine claim Getting right on top of their opponents and winning it back. And the keeper there to deal with it. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And a short corner, let's see. And a decent save, full credit. Five minutes to go. Well, very effective play in possession. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Holland. And he's made headway. And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily. Well, just look at the defending here. They just don't read the danger. It's a poor goal to concede. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. Well, three minutes of stoppage time. That's what the officials have said. Disappointing pass. Joel Feldman. Pascal Gross. March. Oh, surely. Not finished yet. Not quite yet. Still excitement left in the game. And that is that full time here and a win for City. Your verdict.
Well, Derek, it was a tight game. Both sides had their moments and chances, but overall, they just about shaded it. A well-earned victory. Well, Erling Haaland performing in line with our general expectations, I think it's fair to say. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?